Hello there and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the Docker and registry and how we can build up a mirror. A mirror meaning uh, like the cache where you're downloading an image pool. Uh, it could be Ubuntu, it could be Nginx, it could be anything. Then it's going up for the, the cache server, the mirror server and ask about the images exist here. If not, it's going up and downloading and then after that it's served this uh, image to you and if you're working on a local network and you have a lot of uh, employees or you have a big team or you just will uh, play with this with fun because you have a bad internet connection then this way will save you a lot of uh, time because in many cases you use the same images over and over and again to build your own image so that's uh, so that's starting the first we want to do it's uh, here in, in Windows. I will use PowerShell, so I will use this command to track the time. On Linux, you can just um, on Linux you can just uh, type time and then the command. But here on Windows PowerShell, we need this one. So let's download the Ubuntu first and see what's happening. And now you can see it it's took around 5 seconds to download Ubuntu. So after we have trying to download the Ubuntu, we are ready to go back for the editor. So we can build our composer file. Save it. Say Docker Compose YAML file. And then we need a service and a registry. Mirror, that's the service name. And the image should be registry. And the ports we want to open should be 5000. And the volume. Interested uh, to have the volumes here the data and keep it with the var lib and if something is failing we want to restart it at least we stop it And then we will set up the proxy. And what I want to do here is setting up the proxy for, for registry one from Docker.io. And that's meaning when you want to download like Ubuntu or something like that, then it's going to ask about uh, Docker first and then download the file. Of course, you can set this uh, to whatever you want. If you have another cache server, let's say you're setting up for this for private images, and then you have another mirror, you can just say, This is my local mirror IP, something like that. It's up to you. That's just meaning if the image doesn't exist on your registry now, then this will go in for your proxy and ask that you exist here and that's how it's working and uh, now we are ready to to go in for the terminal again and say docker compose oops then up and then we should spin up something no let's say what happened here and what i can see here it's uh, we have a uh, wrong spelling here and wrong spelling here and then we need a version of a docker compose file and this is 3.7 and then let's try again and still okay it's because i'm very bad at spelling so i'm spelling this from the beginning again
and now it's up and running and we are ready to test our registry so let's do this but before we starting pulling images we need to go in for the docker icon and go in for settings you need to find these images and then we need to go in for the properties general uh, advanced let's see where it is here proxies it's very interesting where it is here on windows daemon here we need to go for the daemon on on windows and on mac you can go in for the docker desktop ui and right click on it go in for preference and then find demo tab and then we enable experiment features and we apply it could take a little little moment to restart when it's uh, back online we need one more here http and then localhost 45000 and then we need to apply again and you need to wait until it's back online now when uh, it's uh, back online we can just uh, minimize this window because we don't need it so let's go back to the terminal spin up the container one more time now it's uh, ready to run and we can see here we go into a new tab and docker images we have ubuntu so let's remove it and you see we have removed the uh, ubuntu and let's do a test one more time here uh, about uh, to see what's happening and this time you can see it's, it's took around um, 6.4 seconds and it's of course longer time than before but I said but like I say it's first need to download to the registry server and after that it's need to download to your local computer so let's removing the, the, docker, uh, the docker image again it's here yeah docker remove image and we are here again it's gone and let's try it one more time and now you can see it's only took 2.04 seconds so around two seconds to download and that will save your network for around three seconds uh, three to four seconds uh, every time you need to rebuild your image and you don't need to block um, uh, blocking the internet every time you need to uh, to remove the image from your machine or you need to starting up the new environment so that's how it's uh, working and yes that's uh, that's it Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoy and remember the code for this composer file is on my github so you can go down for my github profile on my project page and download the jaml file so you don't need to, yeah, to, to remember this at yourself and I hope you subscribe my channel and give it a like and of course I hope you hit the share button to share with your friends and add it to a playlist. Thank you so much for your time and hope to see you next time and thank you for your subscription. Bye bye.